I want to pull this light down behind this figure. And I'm going to clean out this area right here and take it out back to the white paper. And the reason for doing that is, from a, from a structural point of view, what that'll do, that'll, that'll open that shape up and turn, bring it in and lock it in around there. At the same time now, notice that this whole light area is being pretty much kept in position uh, on one side of the page. And I would like to just sort of introduce another part of it. And I'm going to remember we talked about the teapot. And that's what I'm going to introduce here. And I'm going to draw it in first right about here. And we have a teapot here that would be a, probably a very interesting little shape to work with. And when you're working with something like a teapot, uh, it, it, it probably wouldn't do too much advantage if you did this. It probably would be do more advantage to make a teapot if you did something like that. So that's kind of, and so I'm asking myself a question, well, which way would I point it? And, uh, and I think because the spout has a kind of arrow quality, it would be defeating, in a sense, to have it pushing off the page as opposed to pointing it inwardly toward the inwardness of the page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that logic. And the way this teapot happens to be constructed, it's basically a sphere right through here. And on Yupo, as you see, you can do this really very simply and, and almost as an afterthought, but nevertheless, it, it, you see, I've, I've immediately set up that position for it. Now, a long time ago, I learned that it is not always necessary to have the teapot logically sitting on there something, but, but you can, and you don't have to, but you can have it sit on a piece of paint. So what I'm gonna do is, in, rather than painting the laborious kind of image of uh, a table, I'm gonna paint just a gestural mark, and I'm gonna load this up with paint, and I'm gonna see if I can drag something like a credit card through there. Whoa, that was kind of interesting. I got a nice dot out of it. Let's do it again, this time. I and what I'm looking for is just a gestural mark for the table. There, there's some indication that it's sitting on something. And in the same way, this little teapot, now you see the reason for cleaning it out with whites first was that it gives me a, a very resonant surface to paint this little silhouette on. And then when I lift it, it'll go back to light. And because I want it very light, I'm just going to burnish this and make it lighter. I think I'll put another gestural mark through here. That was my finger going through there, but again, you see the gestural mark of how that gives that impression. But now, can you see what, why the reason for putting that there? And now it begins to create a sense of passage over that center medium or that physical division that runs up through the middle of the page and comes together. Mm -hmm.